you immigrated to Canada. Yes. Is that right? Yes. From? I was born in Czechoslovakia, but I'm half Hungarian, and okay. I escaped. You escaped. So tell me, tell me a little bit about that story. Well, when I escaped Czechoslovakia, former Czech or Slovak Republic, was one country, Czechoslovakia, under the Russian communistic rule. Right. And it was frowned upon, to say the least, and you were shot if you tried to escape through the borders. You do not... You just can't leave. You right. had to have all kinds of permits, and and they never gave you any. Or they would give you to one member of the family, like a mom, but the dad and the kids had to stay, so they assured a return, right? right. They split the family up. So <clears throat> my mom managed to escape a year before, and so then you're really watched because they know you want to go, right? Right. And so my dad um, came to get me, and uh, in a different city, and we escaped. We traveled to Yugoslavia. And then I had a gun, he had a gun. We were in a, this is true. It's unbelievable, I was, it's insane. It almost sounds ridiculous. And we escaped through Maribor in Yugoslavia and into Austria. And all I remember is my dad kissing the ground once we made it through Aust into Austria because, I mean, we, we would have been killed. And you know, the, the only thing I remember, I mean, I was younger, I'm not saying when, of course, <laughs> but I was younger. And I remember uh, my dad saying to me, you know, in teenage years, do you wanna, if we're gonna go, it's dangerous. I, I said, I want my mommy. <laughs> so I, I was gonna, she was in Canada already. Right. So I said, I don't care, I wanna go. But he said, there is a plus. I did have a boyfriend that I thought at that moment would be my husband. I'm gonna forever love him. And I didn't really wanna go, but I did wanna see my mom. So it was a toss up. But he said to me, if you and I will live like paupers, like beggars, your kids will live better, but still rough. But your grandkids, mind, me, mind you, I was like in high school, your grandkids, or middle high, your grandkids will live like kings and queens. And I've never forgotten that. And I remembered when I looked at my grandson one of these days and my granddaughter, and their biggest headache is, uh, I don't know, PlayStation or Xbox? Yeah. Mine was bullet in the back or bullet in the front. You know, it's, it's, it's a difference, you know? It's a different right. world. So, yeah. Right. We wanted to live or die free. Free to be able to um, work and do what you're good at and be rewarded for your own efforts, not because you're a communist or because you have good connections, but because you work hard and you love people and you respect them and you do the best you can. That's right. all I remember. Then that's, that's why I wanted to leave, and here I am.